On 31st of May 2024, there was sudden and surprising activity in India's stock markets. The amount of shares bought and sold almost doubled or more than doubled from the previous day, 30th of May 2024. The 1.1 lakh crore worth of stock market buying and trading on the National Stock Exchange on 30th May, which went up to 2.3 lakh crores on 31st of May. Normally, such doubling, such huge increase in stock market activity is quite rare. When there is a big news or big development, then the stock market trading activity jumps up. The last time it doubled was on 16th of May 2014, when Mr. Narendra Modi was declared as the winner in the 2014 elections with an absolute majority, which was the first time in three decades that a party had got an absolute majority, which was a very big news and stock market activity doubled. So what was the big news on 31st May 2024 for the stock market activity to double? Nothing. The only event was the next day, 1st of June, was the final phase of polling and exit poll results were announced at the end of 1st of June. Curiously, all the exit polls said that Mr. Narendra Modi was going to win a third term with a landslide majority of nearly 400 seats, which would again be the first time since Mr. Rajiv Gandhi in 1984. When the markets reopened on the 3rd of June Monday, because of the exit poll predictions, the markets rose to an all-time high. When the markets rose to an all-time high, people who bought shares on 31st of May, they saw their value, share value go up. The next day 4th of June the actual results started coming and when the results started coming it was clear that forget a landslide victory of 400 seats Mr. Modi was not even going to get a majority so what happened the stock market tumbled and fell steeply the stock market lost 30 lakh crores just on the 4th of June which is the highest loss ever in its history so the question is who are these people who bought shares on 31st of May. Why did they buy shares on 31st of May? One is retail investors, which are common people. Number two, domestic institutional investors, such as Indian mutual funds. And third are foreign investors. Foreign investors, remember, typically invest in Indian stock markets through tax havens like Mauritius or Cayman Islands. And we don't quite know who these actual foreign investors or foreign entities are. On the 31st of May, 58% of all the shares that were bought were bought by foreign investors. Foreign investors as a category were selling and not buying Indian stocks in the days before. Suddenly on one day, on that day, 31st of May, a group of foreign investors started buying stocks in the Indian market at huge volumes. And when the markets went up, these foreign investors sold their stocks, made their profits and left. When the markets came down, it lost 30 lakh crores. But who lost the money? It was common retail investors who had shares. They saw the value of the shares decline and their wealth being eroded. So is, is it a curious to know who are who exactly are these group of foreign investors what information did they have because on 31st of May there was no other news exit poll predictions results were not public they were known only to the egg pollsters the media companies maybe perhaps some big political leaders from the ruling party we don't know but the information was not public so how did these group of foreign investors know what was going to come in the exit polls and hence decided to buy stocks at huge volumes one day before before it was released. What is the connection to these pollsters? Whose money did they invest? On whose behalf did they act? How much profits did they make? These are valid, legitimate questions that should be investigated. This is why Mr. Rahul Gandhi in a press conference demanded a joint parliamentary committee, a JPC to be formed and investigate this 30 lakh crore exit poll scam. This is extremely important to know for both for common investors as well as to ensure that Indian elections and Indian democracy are not a means to make profits for a few people through the stock markets. Matashto Vishesha video Galanu Nodalu, Matu Hosa video Galabagay Tirialu, Edina.com YouTube channel subscribe Madi, Matu bell icon click Madi.